popularity contest anywhere, even in Pittsburgh. But he started stopping pucks regularly enough in training camp that Kevin Constantine said, hey, this is my number one guy. This is his fourth straight start for Brasso tonight. Well, great players love a challenge, and did Wayne Gretzky ever respond Saturday night? Heinrich snaps a low shot save there. Barrasso got the right pad on it. And it is Jane. Gretzky inside the line, drops it off the Leach, coming late. Leach snaps a shot, fired it wide, and Barrasso, Sundstrom on the far board. The corner for Stevens. This line did most of the day. Stevens sends it on the right wing side. Sundstrom trying to get around Bob, who had turned his back on him. Sundstrom selling pass. Stevens is there. Gretzky gets the shot away. Barrasso save rebound. And all the ice, Barrasso has it covered, and now Kasparaitis clears it out of there. Gretzky again. Sends it toward Barrasso, deflected wide. Rangers with all kinds of pressure. Here is Leach with it now, to the net. That will stop by Barrasso, rebound. It is clear to the side, and the Penguins come back. They have a three on two. It's Kane back to Keane, Lafontaine again. Takes it to the corner, Lafontaine cuts it from the back. Can't, couldn't get much of a shot away. Rebound is stopped by Barrasso. He was down, and it was Mike Keane that had the opportunity. Let's check back into our studio. Watch this play by Pat Lafontaine. He waited till everything jammed up. Use it as a screen. Nice play in front. Mike Keane ended up trying to come out of the pack right there and reach for the rebound, and he got it, but Brasso is still so big. This is earlier on the save when Kevin Stevens and Wayne Gretzky with Sundstrom were fighting away. That was either a Gretzky or a Sundstrom shot. For a big man, obviously, he's going to cover a lot of net. The most underrated aspect. Tipped in deep, and Savard was down to the ice again. The there is the pass ahead off the stick of Gretzky. And Brasso hands it off in the corner. Yuri Slager looks to come out with it. Hands it to Tamer up the left wing side. Yuri Falk will put it right in, pumping there with Key. Now here's the steal by Graves. Graves sends it back. Leach winds up, fakes the shot, gets one man down. Leach sends it to the middle. Adam Graves' shot didn't get through. His second effort didn't get through, but it comes right back to him. Back to the line, Leach. Plays it along the board. LaFontaine gets a stick on it there. Now Keane took it away from Straka. Graves and LaFontaine cycle of his own. Centering pass picked up. Now here's Chris Burrell with a tip. Great stop there by Richter. Mike Richter with a left arm made a great stop there. Gets it back to LaFontaine. Fakes the shot, sends it deep now. And Savard tried to center. That was blocked in front. Brad Rulenka able to do the job defensively for the Penguins, and it's put on the other side. Leach with speed, hands it off, pump him off a shot, hit Barrasso up high. Barrasso perfectly positioned for that one, out to the line. Driver doesn't shoot, Leach sent it toward the Pittsburgh goal, but it's for the Penguins to free him up. And Barrasso right there didn't want to free up the puck. Luka Boom lets the shot go, but doesn't get through. We apologize for some audio problems that we've been having tonight. Stay with us. Gretzky wins the draw. Leach, high shot, hit Barrasso. May have hit him right in the mask. It hit him up high, and it ends up in the crowd out of play. Sure sounded like it, Dave. I mean, it has that clanky Setsky back to Leach, and the puck was kind of bouncing. Yeah, that looked like it hit him right in the noggin. Oh, if not, real close to it. Leach this time along the ice. Barrasso, the easy clear after the save. Luka Boom rolls it across. Here comes Kovalov, accelerates, gets the shot away, the deflect toward Barrasso. A penalty coming on the play, away from the puck. And so we are scoreless with 12 and a half remaining here with us. As Leach hands it off, Gretzky crossed right. Driver, one-timer, great anticipation by Barrasso, who slid across to make the stop. Leach again, sends it deep. Gretzky one time the puck back along the board. He'll get it back from Driver. Now Stevens to the corner. Balls went off for hooking Rangers, second power play of a hockey game. Bouncing puck between the circles, moving in from the point was Leach. Stevens got a stick on it. Savard wasn't there either. Here's LaFontaine with Lorenka creeped all over and still got a good scoring chance. Back to the line, carpet set. Rolls it back behind the Pittsburgh goal. LaFontaine out to the line, Leach to Carpenter, back to LaFontaine, back to Leach, back to Carpenter, great puck movement, the shot though blocked by Hatcher, rebound set over top of the crossbar. LaFontaine tries to throw it back to the point, but it is Hicks who gets a stick out of Meanwhile, as you see, the net is off behind. I think it's Mick Magoo. Here it is right here, Savard tried it, LaFontaine got it, but they just ripped it wide. LaFontaine lost it that wide, both Savard and he's really impressed the team with his work ethic. Here comes Kovalov, top of the circle. That's the shot goes. Save made by Barrasso. The closest we've had to a real good scoring chance off the rush in quite some time as Barrasso covers up. That's well. Here's a setup now for Leach coming into the slot. Drops it back. Put the boom a drive. That hits somebody in front. 
Loose puck for Asa, steers it aside. Rangers trying to keep the pressure on. Slager and Keane battling. Keane trying to get his stick loose, just did. Now Adam Grace, penalty coming against Pittsburgh. Delayed call. Bob Fontaine sends it back to Bootaboo. Rangers get the sixth skater on. Leach drives the top. Barrasso save rebound. Knocked out of the air by Graves, but handled by Barrasso. Right is on control by the Rangers. Gretzky back to driver with a shot to the net. Barrasso the save. And boy, he looks pretty calm and collected. Make difficult saves very often look easy. What a pass by Wayne Gretzky. You can see that he had somebody deflecting in front. Kevin Stevens may have even tapped this in front. He sure oh, did. He, he knocked yeah. it down in front of Brasso. And that's, see, Brasso's a percentage goalie. He was down in the butterfly, taking away low. He takes away the highest percentage spot of the net. And at his height, I mean, he still can cover a little bit of the top half as well down on his knees. Well, some goaltenders try, some goaltenders try to make saves on Brodeur or John Van Beesbrook. In certain situations, they will go down and take away the majority of the net low. And that's where the highest percentage of goals are scored. And then they'll try to move to the open part of the net and make the save if the shot goes there. But they allow themselves to get hit with a puck by playing the percentages. And that's why we call them, I, I call them percentage goaltenders. And when they're on and they're playing, playing their percentages right, they're fantastic, especially through screens and deflections like that from Kevin Stevens. And Tom Barrasso has faced 22 Ranger shots on a Here's LaFontaine with speed. Dumps it across the Pittsburgh zone. Taken there by Lee. Hands it off to LaFontaine. Now it goes to Bukabu. Bukabu to the net with it. And Barrasso again down on that butterfly. Able to hang on. 421 left here in the second period. Still scoreless. Don't ever face the shot. Hands it off. Gretzky trying to get through traffic. Backhands it just wide. Looking for Steven. Steven taps in front. Gretzky at the side of the net. And Gretzky pointing at Sundstrom, who was taken down. Looking at Mick Magoo, wondering why is that not a call on a scoring chance? Defensively. Here's the original shot. Kevin Stevens is doing what he's supposed to do, and that is block and jam in front. And Sundstrom looked like he was trying to get a, his stick on it. And that was Frederick Olison, 23 for Pittsburgh, that was tying him up. But it didn't look like it was a penalty. Wayne Gretzky saw it a little. Francis will take it. Francis deflects this one down in between Mike Richter's legs. Richter had moved to make the save with his blocker. Watch how Richter opens up. His right arm will come up because he expects it to come over to the right. He pushed off with his left leg. And Ron Francis, who was in front, helping through the neutral zone into the Pittsburgh end. Graves tries to go back to Lafontaine, coming to the net. He's taken down on a penalty coming here. And it's going to be a tripping call. Closed up, so he dished off and then went wide. Well, you know what? Darius Kasparaitis, I think, assumed that Stu Barnes had him, and Barnes didn't. Watch this. When Lafontaine passes, there's Barnes from behind. Kasparaitis let him go. Here's Barnes from the right side. Kasparaitis really let Lafontaine go. He could have stayed with him, and, and Barnes was forced off for tripping. Just over a minute left in the period. Hatcher will drive it around the glass. Bouncing puck gets away from Leach. It goes to Leach. He hands it off. Lafontaine with speed up the right side. Fakes the pass. Now sends it right through the crease. Deflected. Did Barrasso get that save, or was it Hatcher there? Great opportunity again. Lafontaine with the speed set it up. They go back to Leach. Long one-timer. Barrasso sick. Rebound just out of the reach of Gretzky. Driver to Leach. Far side, LaFontaine. Back to Leach again. Savard redirects this one just wide. Gretzky. Driver rolls it in front. Tipped in a save made by Barrasso again. Man, Savard actually got a piece of that in the backhand in midair. Well, that should happen for a kid that the last one was on Savard. Here's Gretzky coming around trying to dish off, and he did to Bruce Driver, who transitioned to Savard. There's the backhand out of midair. But it was the save he made at the start of the power play. When LaFontaine went all the way across the crease to Wayne Gretzky, you said did Hatcher about Pat LaFontaine with a perfect little elevator pass to Gretzky. Yeah, Tommy Brasso yeah. got that one. Wayne was able to clear it back. Up the grave, tips it to Stephen, backhands it toward Barrasso. He calmly has it on the glove. Boy, it's hard to get anything clean on Tom Barrasso. Used to be a shooting gallery in front of him, but Kevin Kai, though, by Brian Leach, and I'm not sure if he was tr knew that Adam Graves was there. Knowing Brian Leach, as smart as he is as an athlete, he might have been trying for the deflection. That would have been an interesting call. Was that above the crossbar? Would have been hard to get a replay that would show that from 65 right. feet away. Tamer bouncing puck, couldn't control. Rangers counter, Sunstrom up the far side. Gretzky cut again. Gretzky gets the shot away. 
And Marasso may have gotten a piece of that. Gretzky breaking in with Demons. That'll be Gretzky again on the far side. Wheels to roll, and it's got a tip for Sunstrom. Didn't get through to Marasso, and the Penguins clear. Why, the best chances, consecutive chances for the Rangers. Alexei Moreau's up, back comes Kovalev again. Kovalev, stop and go. Sends it across to Gretzky. His shot stopped by Marasso. He might cut to this hockey game. Great stop and go move. Perfect pass. See how it's in Gretzky's skates? He couldn't get it airborne. Green Bay is a small town. When someone Gretzky wipe out after the shot. He got sandwiched between Kasparitis and Morozov. He's all right. Went to the bench. He wanted to see what happened. Away on the attack. Three Penguins are back. It comes to Leach. Leach gets a shot away. Missed it. On the glove side of Barrasso. Back come the Penguins now. They may get an odd man rush here, but oh, they got a bad break. It comes back to Yager. Yager between the circles. He tries to set it up now for Francis. And he has it. Now sends it toward Barrasso. It's in the glove. And he hangs on, approaching the halfway mark of this third period. Background here, right in front of that. See number five going down in white. That is all Samuelson. He had driven the net. Yuri Slager took him down. Kovalev ended up getting a decent scoring chance with a bit of a screen, but he passed up a better scoring chance. And then Wayne Gretzky from the bench shook his head after yelling. Mike Johnson lets the big bomb go, and Kevin Hodgson flashed out the glove. One of 30 stops. It's all over. Detroit a 3-2 winner. LaFontaine to Graves, who tried to go back to LaFontaine. Now they tried to get it in front. For Mike Keene, he is down along. Here comes Leach with it. Leach carries into the Pittsburgh zone. Hands off LaFontaine. Drives the shot right past Abel Asso. Right back to LaFontaine. Mishandled it. Now Graves gets to it. Behind the Pittsburgh goal. Trying to center it. Here it comes. Now a chance for Keene. And the shot was blocked. And it was Rob Brown, number 44, that made the defensive play. Here is Leach. Well, you talked about a career doing the Rangers still with a pressure side of the net. Graves chopping away. Puck bounced out in front of Barrasso and back the other way. Jumps Francis. Francis trying to fight off a couple of Rangers. It rolls to Bjarmi Yager. Now, there's where he bobbled it. Otherwise, he would have been able to turn cleanly. Carpet set behind the net that tried the long pass. Sporitis has him lined up. Kovalov, nifty move. Wrap around, still has it on the stick. Goes back to Driver through a crowd. It was blocked by Kasparitis, who timed his drop to the ice perfectly. Centering attempt here, deflected, and a penalty coming. It was burned, it was drilled at the center. Back to Gretzky right point, back to the corner. It comes to this, and it moves in his run. Hits here, is stopped. Barrasso now looking for that loose puck, and the referee has lost sight of it. And he's calling for a face-off. Same story. You can see Kevin Stevens, where he's been parked most of the night, 17 in white, right in front of Ross. So now he had to go to the corner and get the puck, move it back to the point. One pass too many. Well, I'll tell you what, in the Rangers' defense, if anybody accuses them of one pass too many, there's been a penguin right in front of the guy with the puck most of the night, and that has forced that one pass too many. staff have to be extremely happy obviously with the outcome but with the way they're with Tom Barrasso in New York Tom last year five games you were kind of the forgotten guy come back here with a shutout in New York do you feel like the forgotten guy coming in uh, not really I mean uh, having major shoulder reconstruction is kind of a downer but uh, was really focused on trying to get ready again for this year um, you know, I've won uh, almost 300 games in this league. I don't think that should be forgotten too easily. And uh, I think my track record with two Stanley Cups speaks for itself. So it's more about myself getting ready and, and being prepared and committed to play. And uh, I think I've done all that, and hopefully it's showing. Is it like a different style team since you came back? I mean, there are no two-on-ones tonight hardly at all. No, we're playing much more uh, uh, defensive-minded. Um, our, our talent base is not what it was in years past, but our work ethic is solid. Kevin Constantine uh, has come in and done a great job coaching us, I think. Uh, I think he's really teaching our young players how to play the game, how to play systems, and uh, that's going to give us our best chance to win. I mean, that's why we were able to win a game like tonight, where in years past, uh, 
I don't think we ever had too many one nothing games in the Pittsburgh Penguin organization. Take a look at a couple of those saves. A couple of guys named Gretzky and LaFontaine. This is the first period. Yeah, I made a save, and the, the puck just squirted out the side, and I just happened to pick it up and dove across, and was real fortunate. And then we were scrambling for quite a bit after that. It's the third period. Just in the third period, uh, uh, Leachy drops it to Pat, and I'm just trying to stay up and not give uh, Brian the, the rebound right there on the doorstep, and I was fortunate to kick it past him, and then... Uh, nobody really got a clean handle on it after that. We were able to get it out and kill off the rest of the time. Well, congratulations. I uh, hope you continue to have the defensive success. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks a lot. And back to the studios. Flames and Stars, Darian Hatcher in the lineup for the first time this season. is coming. and then all of a sudden he looks up and Trepignier on the right side does a nice job of driving to the net. The puck seemed to roll on Joe just for a second. Watch at the end and see the puck doesn't roll just a bit as Sackett goes to shoot it. Now you got Goodwood on it. Points, that's ninth best. Two of the best shooters in the game, Sackett and Bond, are in this game. Oh, shot right off the draw by Kucherov and Ranford had to be alert. Brantford making only his second one at home. The other one was opening night, and he lasted only 20 minutes. Here's Corbet, a drive, and Brantford, a pretty good glove save there. And he'll hold it. It's been a very unusual year for Brantford. Brantford is in Edmonton from Grant Fuhr. Fuhr actually became the backup to Brantford in Edmonton. Won a Stanley Cup, was the Conn Smythe MVP winner that season as the Edmonton Oilers won their fifth cup in seven years. Went on to be the MVP of the Canada Cup the next season and has been a solid goaltender. Got a big trade last year from Boston down. Forsberg with some room. play by Sack. Through the defenseman as he comes up the ice. Watch the defenseman stick. It'll move out. Makes a little poke check and that's when Sackett will unload it. The defenseman gets set and then he tries to go right by the foot of the stick of the defenseman. Now, 50 seconds to go. The power play. The Capitals on the power play for the first time. going to follow in the play, but Forsberg sets it up. Great effort. He gets knocked down. And Lemieux, who we had mentioned, been, has been struggling, gets his fifth goal of the season. And John, all five goals have come on the road. On the same page, and then everybody's directed in, uh, uh, with one area of focus, and we've got a much better chance to be successful on the part. Capitals get in the dressing room between periods, they'll be saying you cannot give Forsberg that blue line. They let him get the blue line and dance across. And once he starts to dance, guys that are smart like Lemieux and Camille, they were giving him, you know, four or five strides over that blue line. He just ate him up. Shot right on by Denmark and kicked away by Brantford. Lemieux is You're going to see Lemieux come in, but Forsberg sets up the play, but also Lemieux, a good, tough move to the front of the net as he sweeps it home. And here's the second one, again, driving towards the net. Lemieux, 6'1", 215, 17 pounds, just bang, right on top of the goaltender. Save there as Lemieux nearly had. 
had his sixth career hat. John, you see what happened there? The player for the Washington Capitals had to make a choice on to go to Lemieux or back off on Ozelinch. He backed up on Ozelinch. That freed up Lemieux, who puts by his third goal of the season. I mean, his third goal of the night. shot on net and then the avalanche just start moving the puck around Saka here fakes a shot good move by Kamensky after he made the first pass to move back into a just a position to get the shot on net Branford has to be sharp so again the avalanche for Olympic team now Denmark throws the backhander goes in front and the rebound is fired wide by Ogers and
right side of your screen. He's chasing the puck down. No question about it from that angle, certainly. Yeah, he's there. He's chasing it down, and he puts it home. Here's the angle they'll use upstairs. Yeah, the puck was right there. He got it before he skated into the crease. The avalanche, two. The goal by Bondrat, 14-56. Now Forsberg down the ice. Great pass in front. Same rebound. And Lemieux nearly had his fourth goal. And a penalty coming up here. In a 6-6 game. In the middle, the Trepanier kick and the shot. Here's a claw back of the goal. Looking to make a play. Knocked down. Surprisingly, I don't think a lot of people realize that's 311 career wins, and he's missed some time the last three or four years. But he is a big guy. He's 6'2", 215 pounds, a fierce competitor, and he led the Penguins to two cups in the early 90s. And up front, the Penguins boast two of the best. Yarmer. Across to Ozelik for Lemieux. Right wing for her. Lemieux parked in front. Here's Sackett. Puts it in front. Knocked away by the Penguins. Not out. 